Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to review this Toshiba Fire TV. It's available at Best Buy and on Amazon for a relatively inexpensive price. It features a Fire TV interface that's the same as what you would find on an Amazon Fire Stick without having to switch inputs. How well does it work? Everything from picture quality, sound quality, and even tuner sensitivity. Stay tuned to find out. If you're a cord cutter, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. Now, on to the review of this TV. What drew me to this TV model, instead of another smart TV made by maybe Samsung, LG, or Vizio, is a Fire TV interface. In my opinion, the Amazon Fire TV Stick is one of the most powerful streaming devices on the market, and it's great to have it built into a TV like this. You can do a lot more with one compared to a Roku. Besides the various streaming apps on the Fire TV, I like how it has a built-in web browser. This allows me to access video content on virtually any website, even if there's not an app. In fact, some smart TVs made by LG, Samsung, and Vizio don't have certain apps outside of their app store. For example, let's say you purchase a Tableau over-the-air DVR to record your local over-the-air channels. If you have a Samsung, LG, or a Vizio smart TV that doesn't have an Android or Roku interface, you can't download the Tableau app, which means you have to purchase a separate streaming box like a Roku or Fire Stick just to access your over-the-air channels with the Tableau. That doesn't sound like much of a smart TV to me. Here's the main screen on the TV. You can scroll over to find whatever you're looking for, such as TV shows, free things, go in the App Store. Under Live is where your live TV channels are. If you click on Guide, that will give you all of your over-the-air channels. And you can also scroll down to access some live TV apps, including Sling TV, YouTube TV, Philo TV, Hulu, and so much more. And of course, if you scroll down, this will just give you all your regular apps. You can see I accessed the internet app browser recently, Local B TV, YouTube, Spotify, just like you would with a Fire Stick. One thing I did notice is that the response time from the remote can be slow at times, depending on what you're doing on the TV. Here are a few clips of me navigating with the remote. You can see in some cases it takes a few seconds for the TV to respond. Now for the picture quality on the TV. For my personal taste, I had to adjust the picture just a little bit in terms of uh, white balance and contrast, but after that the picture quality looked great. The sound quality from the built-in speakers is also really good. It's much better than any other LED or LCD TV I've watched TV on. Listening to music on this TV fills a room comparable to a stereo. The built-in TV tuner provides you with a guide of what's on all of your local over-the-air channels. Many TVs of the past and even some of the present just showed the channel numbers so you had no idea what was on each TV channel. The channel guide is definitely a game changer with this TV. The channel guide will also integrate live channels from other streaming apps such as Sling TV and Pluto TV right within the same guide so you don't even have to go through different apps on this TV to access all of your favorite live TV channels. Another cool feature with the live tuner is that you can pause, rewind, or fast forward any channel up to 10 minutes. This feature is really cool because there are many times I want to rewatch a part of a show that I just saw, maybe a funny clip with Judge Judy. It's also great to pause a TV when you have to, well, go to the bathroom. Now, something most of my viewers who use an antenna want to know about this TV. How's the tuner sensitivity on it? For those of you that don't know, certain TV sets can decode weaker stations better than others, and purchasing a new TV can actually get you more channels if you're using an older model. Unfortunately, the tuner sensitivity on this set is not the best. While it did pick up most of my fair to strong signals fine, it did not decode the one very weak signal I can pick up from about 80 miles away. The Mediasonic DTV box, an external tuner that's known to have very good tuner sensitivity, was able to pick up this channel. I found myself having to switch inputs to access the one weak TV channel from the external tuner every time I wanted to watch it since the internal tuner on this TV couldn't decode the station. 
Most of you won't have issues with the built-in tuner, but if you live in a very rural area with marginal signals that tend to drop out, you might want to use an external tuner or purchase a different TV set. Samsung, LG, and Vizio TVs tend to have the best tuner sensitivity. Overall, this is a very good TV for the price. The Fire TV interface, while it may be a tiny bit laggy at times, is still more powerful than its Roku competitor. Guide data is offered on all of your local over-the-air channels with the option to time shift. The tuner sensitivity isn't the best, but it's good enough for me to want to keep this TV. After all, most of you should probably have the Mediasonic DTV box anyway if you use an antenna since it has a built-in signal meter. This can be really helpful for you to locate the best spot for your antenna and to get as many channels as possible. Learn more by clicking the card in the corner of this video. You can find this TV at your local Best Buy, or you can follow my link in the description of the video to find it on Amazon. I include links to the 32-inch, 42-inch, and 50-inch model. A huge thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind-the-scenes content, access to my videos ad-free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. You can see I loaded up my Facebook page right on this TV. Unfortunately, Facebook keeps bugging me to sign in. Otherwise, you would see all the cool posts I have on it. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.